So it's apparently coronavirus lockdown day. Still loads of people walking around, which you've probably seen from our previous video. But uh, we're not, we're not going to be going out too much. So it's a good job we've still got loads and loads of varnishing to do. As you can see in the back, I've just sanded that. That's going to be nice and oiled. I'm going to oil that. And there's just loads of other little pieces of wood which I'm going to do. Good times under lockdown, eh? Eh? Making the most of it. Eh? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? Chilling. Chilling. Enjoying my last days. <laughs> Enjoying the apocalypse. Yeah. We've had pancakes this morning. It's been a right good little apocalypse so far, I hasn't it? Have, I still have a lemon coconut pudding. Pudding. <laughs> so my one and only brush is broken, so I'm just using this little head. Oh, it looks so nice and dark. Just as I was going to send him some food and water, he walks over. <laughs> What's that? Piece of Whoa. Paper. Ooh. Ooh. How come I only have one? There's like loads. Oh, okay. It's been a glorious day. It's been so warm as well. It's been quite cloudy, but even though it's been cloudy, it's been warm, so it's been nice. Uh, I've just sanded and varnished a few things, and I have put the little plastic knobs back on, you know, to hold the net. I have to give a big shout out to power drills. They are the most useful thing when doing boat DIY. They speed up everything and I don't know what I did without one for so long. You know, if I put this in the video everyone's going to be like, oh she's so sweet, she's so nice to you, don't take her for granted. Right? No, but this is meant to be showed after those fighting. Yeah, but there's no video of the arguing, is there? There is. Did you record the arguing? Mm -hmm. I don't believe you. Which arguing? Which arguing did you record? The pancake arguing. We've been arguing the last two days. No, we haven't. We have. Yeah, because you don't listen and yeah. you just shout at me. Alright. We've been arguing because you pick on everything that I do. That's my point of view. It's just two points of view, isn't it? That's just life. I'll try to look from your point of view. Then. Good, and I'll try to look from my point of view too. So almost every bit of wood is now freshly varnished. Done the companionway hatch. The, uh, the the washboards are plywood and they're an absolute mess. You don't want to know what I've done with that. I've actually <laughs> peeled off the rotten wood. Have a look at this. Please no comments about this. This is art. This is wildlings art. Ta-da! <laughs> where it was rotten and coming off the first layer I've just pulled it off as much as it'll come off sanded it down and then varnished it <laughs> also there's a little, the piece of wood there that's gonna get oiled and this the little tiller pilot holder that's been oiled I did those last season yeah got a piece of wood there it's like a shoe holder thing I've strapped the gas in and it's looking nice. I'm walking around the beautiful boat. I'm looking at the beautiful tow rail, the beautiful, what's this, a handrail. And I'm looking around 
completely ignore the Samson post and then I find this big old block of wood. You know what's going to have to happen with that. You know what's going to happen with that as well, don't you, cat? Oh, big job. But what else do you do on lockdown? Everyone's not locked down though, as you can see. Cars are driving, people walking, people exercising. It's pretty much scraped down. I will just sand it. Look what happens when you bend over the lifelines to scratch and scrape. You break your phone. I would say, look what happens when you keep your phone in your pocket and bend over it on it. Alright, it's all ready for painting now. So I've... Uh, clipped everything up. I've got the chain. The chain's hanging by a tie wrap. There we go. That is the first layer of oil. I have to say, I'm fast running out of pieces of wood and the insanity is slowly going to start creeping in. I need a job, I need a new boat job. There's stuff I can do, but it's not within my skill level. Can you suggest any easy things? I could rewire the antenna on the mast. I could do some electrical things. I could fix the depth sounder. But it seems like all the easy stuff's done and then all the technical stuff, electronics, I'm not very good at electronics. I don't know, I want more easy jobs. What do you think now, Diana? Easy jobs? Yeah. Sit and chill and drink tea. Sit and chill and drink tea. I can't just sit till and chill and drink tea. You're a man of ambitious. I don't know what's got into me these last few weeks. The time in winter spent at home, I was sat on my arse for most of it. I was basically in quarantine. Now, I can't stop doing stuff. I think it's the fact that we don't have internet on the boat. I think it's the fact that we're, we're into the uploading schedule. I think it's the fact that I'm on the boat, so there's always something to do. I think it's got something to do with the fact it's nice to do things with your hands I think it's got something to do with the fact that Nadia's beatboxing, I don't know if you can hear I think it's got something to do with the fact that the weather is actually generally warmer I think it's got something to do with the fact that if you go outside in England you Freeze your balls. Freeze your balls. So a few people said uh, after I failed to install the diesel heater to get a carbon monoxide alarm. We actually had one. It was on the roof of the boat, but I think you have to have it low down. So we put some fresh batteries in. I'm just going to put it next to this uh, battery controller. Oh, it's not straight. That's annoying. Actually, we do have a uh, dual tech uh, power gas alarm, uh, CO alarm, CO test. So that is uh, what we have. It's on, but I don't know the quality of the, um, the receiver or I don't know if it works properly. Time. We call these Corona cookies. <laughs> we usually nip out to the shop to get biscuits and crisps. 
Oh, that, that's what drives us to the shop anymore. That. So we thought we'll make our own cookies. Corona cookies. They're good. We've already tried them. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Just a little update. We, we've we not been out to the shops yet. We've not been out in public because we, uh, we want to obviously follow the rules of the quarantine. And um, we're hoping that people have not been panic buying too much and that maybe if we wait a few days, the shops will replenish their stocks. Um, so that's kind of why we're just, uh, we're living off what we've got. Thanks for watching the video. If you did like it, you can obviously like it, comment, and if you can share it as well, that's always useful for us. So thank you very much. And also we've got our coffee, as you probably already know, or uh, PayPal if you want to support us. But we know it's uh, tough times and it for everyone, so, so don't worry too much. And uh, see you on Friday. Thank you. Bye.